Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, Wendy. How are you? Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Very good. good evening. Okay, very good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. What about you? Not too bad, not too bad. Um yeah. Uh we are in the middle of the month, uh, sorry, of the week. Right. How was how was um your Wednesday? Um kind of tired. Is tired? Because, yes, because I'm I I had to wake up pretty mo pretty early in the morning. Mm, really? What time yeah. did you what time did you have to wake up? 3.30. Oh, yeah, that's very early. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Um, why did you, why do you have to wake up so early? Do you have to start work very early or? Um, I, I, I had to, to travel to San Salvador, from San Salvador to San Miguel, and oh. I start at seven, seven o'clock to, to work. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, I guess. And you left like at 4.30 or something? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. It. Yeah. I understand <laughs> that. Yeah, that's that's a long journey. Yeah, but is do you travel every day, or just no. just today? Yeah, uh, usually just Monday. Oh, and but mm -hmm. but uh, today I I I'm coming. Yesterday from the U.S. From the U.S. Yes. Oh, okay. So you so, you were in the United States uh, this week. Yes, just for five days. Oh, wow. Okay. What what part of the United States were you in? LA. Mm. I I participated in the LA Marathon. Mm, sorry, I, I don't know about that. Can you tell me about that? Uh the uh, mar marathon, the marathon. Ma marathon. Marathon mm -hmm. of the city of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I was, no, I, I did, no, I, I be, I, I was in the, in the marathon. Oh. The Sunday was the, the marathon. Oh, okay, interesting. Wow, very good. For, good for you. And twenty six miles. Twenty, yeah. Wow. I, I, I am impressed. I don't know how people do a complete marathon. I've only, I have only done ten kilometers before, but, oh. um, but uh, twenty six is my but respects. <laughs> But there were twenty-two thousand people 
participating in the the marathon. Wow, twenty six thousand. Yes, wow. it's a lot of people. Wow. Yeah, that is a lot of people. Wow, that's and um, how how like how many times have you done this before? Is this the first time, or have you done it many times? No, not um, in this in this one. I I made five hours. Five hours to complete the twenty six miles, but wow. it's not the first one. Oh, okay, wow, that's 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 a long time. So you started very, very early in the morning, I'm guessing. What what time uh, did you start the marathon? At seven. The the Monday the start was seven and I finished twelve. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 a long time. Wow, but I how 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 did you feel like um in the end like uh, is it I'm, I'm i'm sure like like what 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 first of all do you um do you have like um do you like I, i'm wondering do you go through the city or do you go in the countryside or what do you do um, in this in the city it was the the marathon uh inside of the city inside of the city oh okay okay in, in so the you... main street of oh okay okay so you so they closed the the a lot of the, yeah the streets oh wow that's interesting mm. yes was was good yeah, it's, it sounds interesting. It sounds very interesting. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, congratulations. I'm I'm uh I'm glad that you were able to do that and and that you that you had fun. I'm a survivor. Yeah, you are a survivor, exactly. Yeah, like I said, I've only done 10 kilometers and 10 kilometers for me is enough <laughs> i could not imagine 26 kilometers at all yeah. mm -hmm. in in kilometers was 43 wow miles 26 but in yeah. kilometers was yeah. 43 yeah uh, like i said that's my respects <laughs> my respect mm -hmm. i would never be able to do this, something like that that's that's quite amazing, yeah. But good for you, good for you. Thank you. Excellent. Have you been doing that for a long time? Uh, like nine years. Nine years. That's 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 pretty amazing. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. Hello, Wendy. Hello. How are you? I am fine. Yeah. And you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. How was your work day? Wendy? Uh, your your uh, microphone is off. I don't understand it. <laughs> you can't hear me? No. Um, can you hear me better now? Can you can you hear me? Yes. Yeah? In this okay. moment, yes. Okay, perfect. I would say how was your work day? In my work. Mm -hmm. How was your work day? I, I make uh, forms. I make forms of, uh, 
American visa. Forms on American visa. And I. Uh, uh, how, how do you say cotizaciones? Quotes. 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 Quotes of travel tickets. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Um, and uh, what about you, Romario? How was your day? Good evening. Uh, good evening. Well, today my day was a little tiring. I had to go to the company because we had a visitor coming. So oh. we had to receive, receive her in, in, the, in the factory and we made um, recorrido. <laughs> I don't know how to say. Run through? Run through the, the factory and mm -hmm. well, we were all day there. So it was mm -hmm. a little bit tiring. And I, yeah. had, I also had a training was uh, four hours long, so I wow. feel a little bit <laughs> tired today. Yeah, yeah, I can so imagine. I, just like uh, Jorge Humberto, I, I woke up very early, uh, very <laughs> early at, at 4 a.m. So at 4 a.m. I'm yeah. a little bit sleepy. Now. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. But I, I thank you for for being here, even though that you're sleepy, you know, um, it shows your commitment. So thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And hello, Susana, how are you? How are you, teacher? Good. I'm fine. Good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're doing well? Okay. Oh, your microphone is off. It's very, <laughs> it's very tranquil. <laughs> quiet. Oh, it's quiet. It's that day. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Good. 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 All right. Excellent. So nothing, nothing interesting. Nothing new. And uh, no, no. It's a hard, hard working <laughs> uh. every day. Okay, okay, very good, very good, excellent. All right, it's a vintage. Uh, uh, is today a uh, home office? Oh, good, good. Yeah, that is a big advantage. Yes, okay. uh, I, I don't traffic. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. I, I always say traffic is um uh, well i'm an enemy of traffic so so I, I i love being able to work from home because i hate being in traffic yeah. yes it's mm. a vintage uh, it's a home office mm -hmm. yeah absolutely yeah yes okay hello delbert how are you i miss I'm fine. What about you? Not too bad. Thank you. How was your day? Uh, today was a normal day. Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, okay. Just a regular Wednesday. Yes, in the mm -hmm. middle of the week. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. The good thing is that it, you're right. We're all in the middle of the week. Only a few may, more days left and that's it. Mm, yes. Yeah, yeah the, the weekend is 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 near. It's very near. It, yes, yes. It's emotion. That <laughs> yes, yes. I always say, well, um, from Thursday when once it's Wednesday night, I feel like it's quickly Thursday, it's Friday. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right, e Cristia. Um, I guess you are on your way home. Yes, yes, because I 
I recently to to I I don't know go out to my 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 work ah. and today yeah and today I have a busy day and I need to travel to, well well I need to visit uh Iron Man is in the airport mm -hmm. so I'm very far from my house mm. of my house. I see. Okay. Well, I I thank you very much for connecting, even though you are not at home still, but uh, you're responsible enough to to connect from your, I guess, from your car. <laughs> so, th so thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, hello, I have also Diana. Hello. Hello, how are you? Fine. Yeah? Okay. I'm tired. Yeah. Yeah. I, the middle of the week, it's tiring, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah but uh, like I, I always say, you know, the fact that you are here connected, that's that that shows a lot, right? That shows a uh, great commitment. So thank you very much. Yeah. Um, the the best thing you can do right now is um, be a, in a place where where it's easy for you to to concentrate because I know right now it, it, when you're tired you it's easy for to to distract yourself. So that's the best thing you can do. Yeah. Okay. Um, hello, Norma. Can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Good. I'm good. ready. You're ready. Oh, I like that. I like that attitude. Very good. Good. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Um, yeah, very good. And um, Manuel Antonio. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are everybody? I'm fine. Uh, today I take advantage uh, for the time because uh, part of my uh, work is to visit different uh, places, right? Mm -hmm. And today I I do I did uh, some some things and and in in my I, I spent I spent uh, about uh, two hours mm -hmm. but I I I take advantage I was checking the topics uh, uh, the previous uh, for the previous class and oh. yes teacher and I try to <laughs> I try to advance in the platform, but uh, oh, good. <laughs> I stopped because uh, the the topic and the, the I, I don't know. I think in this class is a uh, parenthetic parenthetical uh, sentence, uh, uh, something like that. Uh, but uh, I stopped. I. I I couldn't advance because Sir, I, I don't understand that you said that the topic is what? Uh, uh, for the, I think it, it, this topic is for today, I think. Uh, but uh, for example, uh, I was uh, in the manual student, I was checking the manual student uh -huh. and mm, Student found, manual. A student manual, thank you. Mm -hmm. And I found um, a topic, but I didn't understand. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, but uh, this is, I think, is new in my, in my, in, for, for today, uh -huh. but. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. All right, no problem. We'll 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 see what we can do about it. Okay, yes. but 
Yeah, that's excellent. And um, I I want to congratulate you because you are taking your time to um, to work in a platform and everything, uh, doing things on time. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Excellent. All right. Um, all right, then I have uh, Diana Elizabeth. Uh, Mario Ernesto and Jennifer Elizabeth that I cannot see. Uh, your ca your cameras are off, so I, I don't know if you're there. So if um you can just turn them on. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Just I'm here. Uh, internet connection problem. Mm, okay. And then if I turn on my camera, it uh, I can lose the the uh, the meeting. Mm, okay okay i see but i'm right. here i'm here i'm listening and um and i can participate if 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 if, if you ask me for something okay okay wonderful that's good that's good excellent thank you and um sulema i i, I i'm here too are you there? but right now i'm taking uh cooking my dinner well well family dinner okay um uh okay very good um very very good okay excellent okay let's start with um let's start with the the attendance Uh, so we are going to start with, um, Cristia? Present. Okay, very good. Thank you. And Diana? Present. Thank you. And Delberth? Here. Present. Okay, excellent, thank you. Um, okay. Um, Jennifer Elizabeth? Hi. Okay. Uh, Jorge Humberto? Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, Manuel Antonio? Present teacher. Excellent. Maria Elena. Maria Elena Guadalupe. Not here. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Mario Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Mario Jose Valle. Mario Jose Valle, Norma Carolina, present teacher. Okay. Eh, Romario Gamaliel, present. Okay. Silvia Suleima, present. Okay. Uh, are you sick, Suleima? <clears throat> yes, teacher. Ah, oh, okay, okay, I see. All right, well, thank you for being in class, even though you're sick. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, Susana? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. And Wendy Manuel? Present teacher. Okay, very good, excellent. Uh, very good, very good. Okay, Um. so what we're gonna do is um a, we're going to start with our presentation event. um okay can you guys see this yes yeah. Okay, wonderful. 
Okay, second, here we go. Okay, so um, this is the, the English for Work program, Advanced Module 2, and uh, your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero, and it's uh, March 22nd, 2023. Okay, so we're going to start. Um, first of all, we have these questions that we're going to be discussing. So first question, do you have workmates that come from a different city? Okay, so we're, when we say workmates, we're talking about the people that we, who we work with, right? So uh, workmates, colleagues, uh, co-workers, you know, this is the same word, okay? The other question is, do you and your workmates share similar values? Okay, so what could some values be? You, the, That's the first thing that you could talk about when you are discussing this question. Like, what are some of the values that exist? What are your values? And do you and your workmates or coworkers or um, a, or colleagues, do you have the same values? And the last question is, in your company, is there any employee who comes from a country different than yours? So do you have somebody that comes from, um, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe Honduras or Guatemala or Mexico or um, yeah, or any other countries. Or maybe if there's not somebody from a different country, but maybe there is somebody that is from another sector of, of, um, of El Salvador, then the majority of the people, right? So you know that people from the East are different, or like they, they have different sometimes uh, ways of speaking or different customs than people from the central part of, of El Salvador or from the western part of El Salvador. So are there people that come from different parts? Okay. Do you understand these questions? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Any questions at all? No, for the moment. No? So the, the instructions are pretty clear? And the questions are clear? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay, wonderful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign you guys to breakout rooms so you can discuss these questions. Um. Okay, I just want to make sure that everybody's here. So, Romario, uh, you're, you can participate. Suleyma, I guess, um, I, I know that you, you cannot speak very much, but maybe what you can do, Suleyma, is you can, um, you can, uh, what's it called, uh, write in, in the chat, okay, so that you can, you can participate that way. Okay, um, Susana Beatriz. Yes, teacher. Okay, so you, you can participate, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry? You can participate, right? Like you have no problems with the participation, right? No, 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 teacher. Huh? I do, I, I, attending the group okay yeah okay perfect and wendy you too right you can participate right wendy no problem wendy <laughs> You can hear us okay? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Good. Okay. I, ju I just want to make sure. Okay. Good. Great. Um, Christian? 
Christian, are you there? Yes, miss. Okay, can you participate? In the in the group discussion. It, it, it say, are you able to participate in the in the group discussion? Can you speak? Can you participate? Hello? I think maybe not. I think she's having problems. Okay. Uh, Delbert? Yeah, she, yeah, she left. Delbert? Hello, I'm here. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> right. Yes, I, I can participate. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Okay. Delbert is here too. Very good. Um, Diana? Yeah, no problem. It's okay. All right. And Norma too? Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right. Jennifer? Jennifer Elizabeth? Yes, I'm here. Yes. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Jorge? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, all right, very good. Eh, Manuel Antonio? No problem. Okay, and uh, Marie, Mario Ernesto? Right, teacher. Perfect. You, can you participate? Yes, I can. Yeah, okay. We, we cannot see you. Uh, I'm cooking my, the family didn't oh. get. Okay, but can you participate? Yes, only uh, I can speak. Okay, 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 okay. If Good. you want to see my only my kitchen, okay. kitchen, I don't know. Okay, okay, all right. Um, okay, perfect. I just want I just like to make sure that everybody could participate because then sometimes I get these groups were like, teacher, um, they're not answering, teacher, I'm alone, you know, so that's why I always make sure that everybody can participate in the group or, or the majority. Okay, so I'm going to, um, I'm going to open up the discussion for about 15 minutes, okay, 15 minutes, and um, a, after about 15 minutes, I will check to see um, if you are able to, if you are, have finished discussion, and if you have finished, then I will return you back to the main room so we can discuss. All right? Here okay. we go, guys. All right, I'm opening the groups. In my, in my case, uh, I have uh, different co-workers from different cities. For example, I have co-workers, a co-worker that comes from uh, San Sonate, another comes, comes from Santa Ana. Uh, I am from San Salvador. Uh, another comes from Antiguo Cuscatlán. So I have different uh, co-workers that come from different cities. Uh, what about you? Okay, teacher. Um, sorry, I sent you sent and the question in the chat. Yes, Please. I already sent it. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. What about you, Wendy? 
you have coworkers that come from a different city. Don't understand nothing in this model. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what about you, Susanna? Uh, sorry, Wendy, uh, is it possible for you to move to a place where it's a little quieter? Because I think your the place where you are right now is very loud. Can you move to another place? The, there's no place where you can move? No? I don't understand, teacher. But sorry, hay 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 algún lugar donde usted se puede mudar, eh, de, o sea, se puede mover del lugar donde no esté muy, donde no haya tanto ruido, porque creo que no escucha por el ruido. Ah, okay. Ajá. Si sí, hay algún, tal vez algún cuarto en en su casa donde esté un poco más. Eh, más tranquilo para que pueda escuchar mejor. Ah, ok. I was reading the, the chat and Silvia says that she doesn't have coworkers that come from another country. That's okay. Um, maybe we can uh, answer the next question that says, um, let's see, do you and your co-workmates share similar values? Well, um, in our company, there are, are different uh, values that we have to, to follow every, everyone because we have a commitment to produce a uh, safe uh, food. Uh, I, I work in a, in a uh, food industry. We make bread, uh, different kinds of, of breads. So one of the, the values is the commitment to, to produce a safe and uh, products quality. And another uh, value that uh, we might we might share is uh, maybe responsibility, respect for each other. Uh, we emphasize also in the inclusion of the diversity and things like that. I don't know if Susanna, Sylvia, or Wendy have something say about you my case my case uh, i i i can i work work it a uh, work it in other country uh, but it's a uh, temporary. Uh, I working in working in Colombia, Bogota, and in the uh, Republic of Dominicana too. That's, that's, that's nice. To know. Uh -huh. It's a uh, in Republic of Dominicana. Uh, it's a short time. It's a um, for um, one two two month, two month. It's short. Mm -hmm. In Bogota, yes. Um, I return. Um, see, uh, see, she, yes. Um, I travel it. I travel it um seguido. What do you say? What do you say seguido, teacher? Often. Often. Okay. Often. So 
in other either city in in el in el San Salvador is a uh, in La Paz. <laughs> it's a uh, okay. aeropuerto airport in airport. Okay. Um well I don't know if anyone else has something to say. The next question in is uh, in my case. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Wendy. No, in my case, only Santana. In only uh employee. Only only me. <laughs> when employee comes from from Santana. Yes. Oh in the company is on uh, it's only in Santana in uh the company Monday. So I think okay. that, that's because okay. they want the job done from Tuesday to Friday because they never work Monday. Yes, they they have uh, many holidays. Uh, yes, because they celebrate one, every uh -huh. I, I don't know how do you say Santo? <laughs> yes. But, yes. They have holiday from every Santo. A saint. I I had a, saint. a yes, thank you. Did you... I had a, a different experience with Colombians, but but I, I think you you mentioned it. They are they they from from Bogota. From Bogota, I, yes, and Medellin. I I I had a coworker coworker from Cali, and very different that you mentioned it. Uh, they they are no workaholics. I, I surprised your opinion, but maybe it's, it's for 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 that you say that is it, uh, but that the different for the Cali. Cali yeah. very, very. I cool. think also depends from the kind of work because we work in a call center, so. Ah, okay, okay. We're always busy. <laughs> Interesting. And in your case, do you have co-workers from other countries? Another from the Colombian. <laughs> no, no, uh, I have two co-workers from Nicaragua right now. I, uh, when I, when I worked in another, in another place, uh, after that, the, uh, the current trip, a, a company. Uh, I work. I work in in Kimberly Clark, and I have a co-worker from uh, Colombia, Costa Rica, uh, Republica Dominicana, and uh, I I perceive I I I perceive that okay, Colombians is very very party maniac. I don't know how can, how the word, but but something like that. Any of you have a uh, other co-workers uh, from other countries? Like Norma says, what Mexico I... and and, and Arabia. Right? Co-workers, no, oh, only my oh. my boss, but uh, the clients, only clients come um, from uh, different countries, um, Chinese, Argentines, Uruguayans, Colombians, even, but only clients, but co-workers, mm. no, only my only my boss, bosses. In my case, it's similar. I work with uh, American people. Mm -hmm. So as as Diana said, uh, I, we have two hours for difference. And we start our shift at seven o'clock and they start at five o'clock from o us. <laughs> yes, and for me, it's very tired because I I try to be early in my, in my work. And well, actually, 
I changed my shift and in my work, in my company, we have three shifts. And right now I am in the first shift because I need to be early in, in the work for for do anything that, that they need. And, and, and I think the American people are very workaholic. workaholic, workaholic too. Yeah. Yes, but I, I don't like it. I don't know. I think it's very... <laughs> trying to say frustrating it's very stressful <laughs> stressful, stressful yes yes it's like very it. stressful but i try to to do the best of i can and and about the values um i think that the a uh, restful is one of the values that they have because if i made something wrong uh, they told me but they tell me but but in a good way it's not a hey crazy you you do you you oh. you do a mistake and and it's bad i don't know in hey, hey. informal way like that yes, so, in a formal way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes in a formal way and but i think that is good because they call me in a video video call <laughs> video and 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 i see their faces and and I don't know. I think it's difficult when you when you see the expression of their faces, <laughs> and you feel shy and and sad. Well, I I feel that I feel something but, like that. But when when you say the, the your the face that the American people like is like a, a angry, but they are not angry. Something like that. Uh, angry. Uh, Remember, angry. What? Angry, angry. Yeah, not, not hungry because un uh, hungry, hungry yeah, sounds yeah. like it's angry. hungry, like the comer, angry. right? Yeah. Hungry is the answer right now. They look <laughs> angry. Angry, yeah. Angry were. Angry were. <laughs> yes, I, I see their faces are are angry. But they, they, uh, they tell me the thing. Uh -huh. They tell me that the, the things in a polite way <laughs> yeah in our case colombia are our buses and they are they not control it <laughs> if they are mad they telling you uh. i don't know if you saw betty la fea <laughs> yeah i compare them a lot with, uh, with the boss with armando because they yell a lot <laughs> <laughs> You inspire. You inspire in the work. <laughs> People don't 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 have the the patience mm -hmm. to 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 hear when you when you don't speak fluently. Yes. <laughs> I, I imagine la cabeza, that. Igual que yo. <laughs> 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 very <Yes>. stressed <laughs> yes. and for for the the question about do you and your workmates share similar values uh, I consider yes because uh, the most of the work workmates uh, keep the the values, the, val the, the values. The same values. The same values like uh, 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 vision. The vision, okay. the vision is finish the, the project. The, 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 mi the mission and, and also. Uh, the commitment. Is the commitment too? Uh, but, I think uh -huh. yes, George. Uh, I think uh, in this uh, in this part uh, values uh, for I consider it refers to share uh, the like we we was uh, talking. Uh, Yesterday in the class about, uh, for example, inclusion. 
uh, the same, uh, uh, I don't know, most, uh, most values than, than work, I, I, I think is values for humanity. Humanity. Uh, like a religion? Uh, I think religions, uh, respect, all right, uh, this, uh, I think, the, the respect uh, cultural stereotypes. The behavior. Uh, uh, in in the, the, the others, inclusion, uh, ethnicity, I think. Including uh, the respect for the environment. The respect, okay, yes, yes, a, a good environment, a healthy environment. <laughs> Yes, I think, I think uh, the the most of company uh, they uh, they uh, they need or to complete or they search uh, the, the the a good environment when all all people in the group. They res uh, they respect the the others, but it's it's like the Our values the behavior of the people. Okay. Yes. Yes. Very good. Very good. Uh, uh, what about Mario and Jennifer? About that question. There are something that you want to share with us. Or not. Okay. Uh, who who are you uh, referring to? Me or Mario Ernesto? Uh, you can. Go ahead. Well, um, about uh, people from other countries in my company, yes, my company is a, a multinational that have the main um, office in the United States. Okay. And the upper manager is from there. And here in El Salvador, it is the production department production department yeah the production department what kind of production uh it's a software company software company mm -hmm. that sounds interesting software company okay yeah what, what kind of software um we apps. yes we have mobile apps and also desktop apps and websites okay that is the trend now the the apps and uh, yeah we have to we have to evolve and because um, when we started, uh, we just um, um, make a um, um, desktop application and um, web based. Mm -hmm. okay. But right now, well, as, as you said, the trending is using uh, apps for them. Uh,
Okay. All right. So I think I think um uh, all the groups are finished by now. So um we are going to discuss these questions. Um Okay, so here we have the discussion. The first question is, do you have workmate, the workmates that come from a different city? So let's just start with this question right now. We're just going to get open up and have everybody um, tell me about your, your experience. In my company, teacher, there are many, many workmates that many cities uh mm -hmm. for example what watch upon watch mm -hmm. there, there are many workmates that they come from uh, watch mm -hmm. and also san salvador san miguel and many many cities mm, okay okay so many different parts um, yes. um, El Salvador. Okay. Okay. Uh, chicos, la, I, I can only see like half of you. The other half is without their camera. So I, I, I want to remind you that when you are in, in Zoom with your phone, um, and you look at it at, at another application or something like that the camera turns off so if you guys can turn back on okay so chicos se pueden encender sus cámaras por favor okay remember what i told you um you know a few minutes like five ten minutes we understand right that sometimes that can happen but but the majority of the of the class should be with your cameras on. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So, what about the rest of you? Do you have uh, uh, co-workers, or um, you know, that come from different cities? Yes, in my case, I have many co many workmates mm -hmm. that are from different, uh, well, departments in El Salvador, from Aguachapan, San Miguel, mm -hmm. and Usulután, and, mm -hmm. uh, well, different different departments, because mm -hmm. they, they work remotely. Mm. Oh, they work remotely. Yes, and that allows uh, to hire people from different uh, uh, places in the mm -hmm. Into the, into the country. Mm, interesting. Okay. Okay. Very, very good. Excellent. Okay. Okay. What about the rest of you? Uh, one question, teacher. Mm -hmm. the, the word to, to name that kind of people is foreigners or or not? No, foreigners is if the person comes from a different country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But is but is it, it is the the same country but different city? Mm, no, they wouldn't be foreigners. No, foreigners are only referred to somebody from a, a different country, right? So, um, yeah, the yeah, just um. They're from different parts of the country, but but they're not foreigners. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Because if foreigners literally means extranjeros, right? So so you wouldn't if if you were working in San Salvador and somebody from San Miguel comes to work uh, at your company, you wouldn't say that they are uh, that they are extranjeros, right? They were, um, you just yeah, yeah. So so, so you wouldn't say foreigners either. Yeah. Okay. okay. What about the rest of you? Teacher, I, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I I stand up to get some water. <laughs> oh, that's but okay. About, thank you. About the, the question, uh, George, 
Uh, please, uh, can you repeat uh, what is the meaning uh, when you refer to foreign? Uh, the teacher said if you can use that word when, when uh, you are talking about people from other countries. Okay, for it. In, in the other city. Uh, there, are, there are no words. Um, yeah, no, for somebody from a different city. Um, would how not do you, how do you call um i don't think we have a word like is but, there a word in spanish uh, uh, but but uh, in other if, if the the workmate is the other country uh, uh, we we can call foreign Would you call, would you call, uh -huh. Uh -huh. would you say that a person from a different city is un extranjero? No, uh, different country. Different country, yes, but uh, okay. from, a di from a different city, no. City? Oh, okay. No, no. Yeah, a, a foreigner only refers to somebody that is lives outside of the country. Uh, okay. Like, yes. or, or not, no, sorry, not, sorry. No, my my mistake. It, not that lives outside of the country, but that is from a different country. Okay, so um, if even even if I if my my city is next to another country, and the person lives thirty minutes away, but they are in, they are crossing the border. They are foreigners, but oh, uh -huh. but if they are from the other side of the country, but they are still in the same country, they are not foreigners. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does that in make sense? In in Spanish, you can use paisano. O sea que, teacher, si él, uh -huh. si él vive aquí en El Salvador, aunque sea de Guatemala, no es extranjero. Si trabaja aquí. Entonces, si no Wait, can you repeat it again? No. <laughs> si la persona vive aquí en El, en el Salvador, pero ah. su nacionalidad es guatemalteca, ya no sería un extranjero trabajando aquí en la empresa, o siempre. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Yes. Like if, um, they, if if the person lives there, but they are, they're originally um, from a different country. They are a foreigner. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, but I think I think the question, the original question was, if if a person comes from a different city. What do you call them? But I don't. I don't know if there is a word in in Spanish for that. Do you Do you know of a word in Spanish? No, oh, teacher. I think, uh, for example, I uh, in the company that I work, mm -hmm. there are uh, many many people that uh, San Miguel, Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I I never think uh, how how oh. hold them. Uh, it, it, guys, if you could just uh, be careful with the microphone. So if you're not if you're not using uh, or, or you're not participating, you can turn off your microphone. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, all right, yes, continue. That's all for me, teacher, thank you. So, sorry, you, you were saying that in your in your company, well, what were you saying about your company? Uh, but the, yes, I said, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't have problems uh, that, how, how can call them uh, when my uh, workmate, uh, come to uh, uh, come 
from Santa Ana, from La Libertad. No, uh, just I, 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 I hear when George, uh, when you say that to George uh, about uh, a foreigner, but it's clearly, it's clearly for me. It's clear. But it's clear yes, for it's you. Clear. What, what yeah. about the word paisano? There are something like that in English. Um, I have a, an opinion. Sorry. I do, yeah. I I think the 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 question of Jorge when when they say paisano is refer when uh, both are in another country, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but uh, for example, two men in U USA, uh, but they are Salvadorian, mm -hmm. both are paisanos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, countryman, I yeah. Know, country. yeah, yeah, my fellow, you can say like, ah, you're my fellow countryman. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. Um, so for I, example, I, uh, imagine I find somebody here from yeah. El Salvador. Like I said, I think I'm the only Salvadoran in, in Istanbul, but but imagine I, I find somebody from uh from El Salvador and I say, Oh, you know, hey, uh, wow, you you are my fellow uh countryman, right? So because we are both in a different country, but we are from the same country um but yeah i i no i i don't think there is a, a word that you would use um when you are from a different city and you are from but you're living like you're from the same country i don't i don't think so yeah okay mm -hmm. okay and does that answer your guys' questions or do you have another Another question? No, it's clear, teacher. Okay, good. <clears throat> All right, let's answer the, the next question. The next question was, do you and your workmates share similar values? So first of all, let's discuss what are values? What do you understand by values? Your respect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good respect the is a value. Behavior, the behavior of your workmates, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the care of the environment, mm -hmm. the integrity. No, sorry. The what the did you? Say? Uh, the integrity. Integrity, yeah, integrity, yeah. Could you say you were going to say something? Yes, honestly. Uh, honesty? Yes. Okay, honesty, yes, very good. Very, very good. Anything else? But there there are the, the values from the, the people, not the values from the, the company. Yes, it, but here we're talking about um, more personal values because um, that's why it's the question is, do you have the same values as your, what was the question? Uh, yeah, do you have, sorry, do you similar? Do you have similar values? Do you and your workmates have similar values? That means that there is room for you to have different values, right? So um, you don't always have to have the same values as your as your uh, your your workmates, right? So um, yes, the company may have certain values, but maybe those are not my values, mm -hmm. right? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what, what other values can we have? So we have integrity, respect. What else? Honesty. Hon honesty. Honesty. Teamwork. What? Teamwork. Loyalty. Yes, very good, Salima. 
Anything else? Like personally, what 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 are your values? Empathy. So don't 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 think about your workplace. Think about you yourself. What what do you value? What's important for you? Sorry, Norma. Patience. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Modesty. Modest. Modesty? Modesty. Yes. Okay. Modesty. Very good. And and I, I have a question. And and workaholic is a value. Hard working. Mm -hmm. Or hard work or hard work hard work I, is I value. remember in the in the room the, we have a discuss interesting discuss with the with discussion the, uh -huh. discussion uh uh, 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 uh they they uh, something some something uh somebody said that his uh co-workers uh it are from Colombia. Mm -hmm. They are work colleagues. Um, I, I I think it's interesting this this, this part because uh, many people here uh, and is not is not workaholic or hard or hard worker. Mm -hmm. I don't know is 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 a value or a, or a, a adjective. I don't know. Yeah, workaholic would be an adjective, but the value behind a workaholic is not workaholic. The value is hard hard work, right? So yeah, so the person who's a workaholic is um is thinking that you know they they value what what they what they value is the hard work right so yeah and so it, it's different to the like for example i can be loyal but the value is not loyal it's loyalty right mm -hmm. but yeah okay. absolutely i mean um yeah hard work is a value definitely um however a, like all all adjectives if like if they are not um a balanced they can also be very um they can be uh what's the word counterproductive yeah so definitely yeah um teacher mm -hmm. question uh, there are uh a uh, word for a value when the the people has a big compromise with something. Uh, when you say compromise, what are you talking about? Like, what do you exactly mean by that, compromise? That that kind of people is is so involved in in the in the project, for example, or I or, think or with the, the company. Yeah, I think that that will. I don't know what the word for the value is, but I think it's the people that have a commitment mm -hmm. with the project. Exactly. Yes, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, the it's not compromise; it's commitment. Because compromise, compromise means this. Um, uh, engagement. No. Uh, no commitment 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 okay compromise means this um for example uh, we are friends and we're going to uh go out uh, we're gonna go out somewhere and i want to um i want to see a movie but you want to um go to the soccer game and so we say um, okay, so this time um, we're going to go to the movies. Next time we're going to go to the soccer game. That's that's a compromise. So that means to to make like a deal. Okay, so um, 
a, co compromise means to like meet each other halfway so that not one person wins and the other loses, but both people they, they are agree with something. Yeah, they agree with something. That's a that's a compromise. That's to compromise, right? So it, it's like to make an agreement where both people can win, even though both people have to yield in something. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Um, all right. So, any other values that you guys have? Would be the respons responsibility. Responsibility. Yes. Very good. Anything else? About the true, truly, or something like that. Yeah. So, sorry, uh, can you repeat that, Jorge? About the the true, true, like truly to to tell the truth. Uh huh. Okay, so I may, veracity that, or something. Would that go together with like a, a trust? Yeah, to to be like trust honest. Oh, okay, yeah, trust. Yeah, or like honesty. Would that be like a similar to like honesty? Like mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So, do you and your co, uh, co uh, your your workmates, do you have the same values? Uh, maybe not same values, but similar values could be. Mm -hmm. Okay, similar values, but not the same values. Okay. Or the, what about the rest of you? Do you have, do you and your co-workers or, or workmates have similar or the same values? Yes, no. I think in my company, uh... All of us we have the same values, I think, <laughs> at this time. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Because because I have a good a good environment with my coworkers. Mm. So I think we practice the same values. Good, good, good. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. What about the rest of you? Susanna? Your microphone, Susanna. Nothing, teacher. N nothing? No, no, no values are in common? Uh, come on. Yes. <laughs> it's a it's a value in in company. It's what? It's a it, it's company it has value. Uh, yeah, but but do you and your workmates have similar values? Sorry, teacher, I don't understand. Okay, the question is: Do you, you, and your workmates or your coworkers have similar values? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, okay. Very good, very good. What about you, Diana? Uh, in my case, I think that we also share the same values, um, especially responsibility um, mm -hmm. and integrity for the kind of work that we do. Okay, okay, very good. So do you feel that um, you can understand each other well with the values or do you feel that there are some co-workers or, or workmates that um, a, it's difficult to work with because they have different values? Um, here 
in the company of El Salvador, I think that we, the, all the areas, they're the same value. Mm -hmm. It is difficult when we have to work with areas from other countries because we share uh, work with Colombia. Oh. And mostly with Colombia, also with Guatemala. With Guatemala, we are really similar. Uh, with Colombians, it is hard sometimes. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Okay. Excellent. Okay. And the last question is In your company, is there any employee? who comes from a country different than yours? In other words, yes, a foreigner. Is there a foreigner? Foreigners. Yes, this one is foreigners because they come from another country. Are there any foreigners in your, in your, in your workplace? I was telling to my classmate that in my company, there are many foreigners. Uh, for example, there are people from Canada, mm -hmm. from Colombia, uh, Chile, and, and also from Russia. Really? Where do you work? In, in Seoul. Oh, wow. That's, that's, a, that's a big variety of, of foreigners. Yeah, yeah. There are many countries uh, working in the in the in the same project, hmm. but uh, mostly of them speak uh, speak Spanish very fluently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I consider just the the Canadian people don't don't speak Spanish uh, almost nothing. Oh really? Huh. Yeah. What part of Canada are they from? Uh, Do you know? Alberta, I, uh -huh. I remember Alberta, Canada. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay. A class. I just just a remember a reminder about your cameras, because I see that there are there are many people that still don't have their cameras on. I need you guys' cameras on. Um. Okay. Um. What about in your case, um, Delbert? Actually, in my in my company, I have two co-workers. Uh, they're from Nicaragua. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but um, in before in my in my in my last uh, work, mm -hmm. uh, I had co-workers of many. Uh, countries of of latin america hmm. but i have a discussion too i think the millennials people doesn't share the same value that the others uh it uh, it, 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 it depends of the countries mm -hmm. uh for example, the commitment. Uh, sorry for the millennials, but I think the commitment of the millennials is different than the the people uh, like. Uh, they all school. Uh, yes. Then why? Uh, yes. Yes. No. Uh, is it? What? No. Uh, X. 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 Uh, X. Generation. Yeah. 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 Because Gen Y is is the same uh, as millennials. It's it, they seem that the the millennials uh, it doesn't matter if if they are late or they they focus in in in, in their work mm -hmm. finish and 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 they go mm -hmm. but the 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 ex generations uh, they 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 goes early. Pass all the day in the work uh, are more uh, uh, they 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 arrive. Oh, how do you say? Go out, go out late. It's different than the millennials. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. I don't know if is millennials is is less responsibility of of the you know, people of X generation. I I I don't say that, but I okay. think it's, it's it's different the the values. Uh, you know what I mean? Okay, okay, interesting. Um, uh, Mario Ernesto, are you there? Yes, I'm here to show. Oh, okay, we couldn't see you. Okay, and Diana, are you there, Diana Elizabeth? It, remember, always have your camera on. You you need to have yes, your camera it is, on. Yes, but I, I, I write to, uh, I don't know the name, because I, I love the energy here in my house. Oh. So I'm only putting it okay. uh, sometimes because I'm using the data. Yeah, okay, you're okay. I understand. Okay, and I Mar okay, okay, I see. All right, no problem. Uh, Mario Ernesto, uh, I don't know if maybe you go to another application, but the camera keeps on turning off. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> okay, all right. So, my question is raise your hand. How many of you are millennials? Raise your hand if you're a millennial. There are no, okay, so we have two millennials. I am problems. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, 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 this is good. This is the discussion, this is good. Only four millennials. Really? It depends. I mean, I'm, some, I'm some, sure there are more. Depends, teacher, because th there are some articles when they change from the the years from the millennials yeah so, yeah exactly so one one of them maybe i can be a millennial really ah okay <laughs> interesting well i i think if i'm not mistaken i'm a millennial as well um if yeah be, if your... you are in the in the age uh, because I believe millennials um, are from 1982 or 83. 1982. I, I saw in one article they start with uh, 1978. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> this uh, this uh, was. Did you watch? The previous class in the, the previous module, <laughs> <laughs> the last the last class <laughs> in the class. module. Yeah, I guess so. I I I know they do start. Um, they there are different uh, eight, um eight. years. There are different years, but um, the majority of them start early nineteen eighties. Yeah. So. Somewhere like night between 1980, 1982, 83, somewhere around there. So I would say if you're born in the 1980s, you're a millennial, definitely. Um, but 1970, I don't know why, I think it's pushing it. Yeah, because, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's, yeah, I think it's pushing it because the whole idea with millennials is that these are people that grew up with technology. That, that's the whole idea with millennials, that they grew up. So if you're up. born in the 1970s, it's going to be difficult to grow up with technology. Yeah, so, so yeah. Um, okay, so I, 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 taking that into account, I think... Probably at least half the class is a millennial, minimum. If not, Thank what's you the? For that. <laughs> um, if yeah, it, yeah, because for example, um, many people born, born, yeah, was born when the technology already exists. For example. The ones that um, were the cell phone uh, uh, was there when they was born. 
when they were born. But uh, at least in my case, I use a cell phone uh, when I was um, yeah, not a teenager. It would be uh, um, on the 20s, I think, because when I was a teenager, cell phone does not exist, did not exist, right? And then that is the, I'm not sure, but that is the, the, the border for the millennials and selenials and, and, and that's that, that, that type of, of, of technology. Right, yeah, because exactly. It, it, and also the, 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 the smart TV, right? That is technology. Yeah, and they they born with the technology. It it in the um yeah when the technology already exists. Yeah, exactly. Um. Yeah, and I and I think I think I I would I would even say that it depends on the country where you you were where you were raised because um. I, I was raised in Canada and I remember that I was nine I was nine years old when no let me see yeah I was about nine years old when we started using computers in our school um but somebody that was born in the same year that I was born in El Salvador probably was not using computers at school when they were nine years old. So I, I think also that influences, um, you know, if you're going to, if you're born with technology or if you're using technology in your teenage years. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I, I think that, that, that has to do with it. Yeah. I don't know. But that's that's a very good, but that's a valid point. It's a valid point um, that a, depending age gaps, you might have different values. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, very good. Um, anybody else want to add what you guys think about these values? Do you find that there's a big gap? with the values that you have and the values that your workmates have? I think the values will be the same, mm -hmm. but uh, not everybody has the same um, level. I don't know if that would be the, the same level of value because mm. uh, someone could be more responsible than other or be more respectful respectful people mm -hmm. that different uh, that depends on the the edge mm -hmm. that's of, a bad that's yeah a that's a good point a very valid point so maybe everybody in our like in our workplace has the same values as we do, but they just don't have the same level of value for each value um, that we do, right? So maybe somebody says, yes, I value honesty, but what is honesty for each person, right? To give you an example, um, I'm I'm pretty sure almost if I ask everybody here, they're gonna say they value honesty. Is there anybody here that does not value honesty? Probably not, right? But if what happens if I ask you, if you found $20 on the floor in your workplace? What do you do with it? I get it. <laughs> There's going to be different answers, right? Some people are going to say that, you know, they found it. It's theirs. Some people are going to say, no, what I, 
what is, you know, what is not mine is not mine. So I, I will find the, the true owner. Right. So, and we all, we will all say that we value honesty. So, you know, what's the level of honesty that we value? That's the question. Right. So, yeah. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. See, this is, this is what it's all about. It's about discussion, right? So uh, we all have different points of view. And um, the important thing here is not to say, you know, who is right, who is wrong, but discuss, you know, we have different points of view. And, you know, one of the, va one of the values that we should all have is tolerance, right? So maybe I don't have the same opinion that you do. It, maybe we, um, you know, we value different things. But it, if I can toler, if I have tolerance, then I can agree to disagree with you. And that's okay. So that means I have one point of view, you have another, and we can both respect each other. I don't have to think that you're wrong necessarily, and you don't have to think that I'm wrong necessarily. We just have different points of view, maybe because of our experiences in life, you know, or other things that influence our, our opinions. Yeah. Okay, very good. And speaking about um, these a uh, this uh, these this vocabulary that has to do with um, a differences in the workplace, we're gonna also continue talking about these um, different aspects that may influence um, a characteristics in the workplace. So I want to know if you can, can you see my PowerPoint? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so here we have vocabulary, new vocabulary. We have melting pot, demographics, sexual orientation, and disability. What we're gonna do is the following. I am going to put you into different groups. You're going to um, investigate and discuss only one. And I'm going to write at the top of the of your group. I'm going to write exactly which one you're going to be um, you're you're going to be discussing, okay? And um, uh, you are not only just going to um, find out the definition of the of the word, but also try to get uh, an example, okay? So that it's easy for other people to understand. So what's going to happen is each group is going to be investigating and discussing only one, one of these, okay? And a, what, I'm, what I'm going to do is then we're going to switch everybody so that everybody has the opportunity of being with somebody from another group and everybody will have an opportunity of explaining their, um, their word, their vocabulary word. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Is is it clear for everybody what we're going to be doing? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Perfect. Um, and remember, I don't want, I don't want to have, I don't want you to, uh, be. I I don't want you to be um. A that's the word, copying, let's say, from the internet. The idea is 
that you um, that you have an opportunity of um, getting it from your making it into your own words. Okay. All right. Is that pretty clear for everybody? We're gonna what we're gonna be doing. Just to check. Yeah. Okay. All right. So remember, I want everybody to be participating because everybody's going to be explaining that concept in your new group. Okay. Um, we, uh, yeah. Sorry. We we are choose any word of the vocabulary. I'm... No. 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 I'm going to uh, be assigning. You are. You're going to assign, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be assigning. Okay, so at the top of your of your group, um, you're going to find the word. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay, so um, right now I'm going to be giving, I'm going to be um, signing everybody. And um, I'm going to give you guys about, um, about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about 10 minutes approximately. Um, so, um, here we go. Mario Ernesto? Mario Ernesto? Okay. Here, here is the teacher. Okay. Uh, hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Uh, what do you assign? Yeah, the... it's at the top of the uh, of the, your of the okay. of the group. Okay. okay. Do you see it? Uh, no. At the top of the. Uh, if you see the the group, uh, it has a name. I I have my my platform. Uh, yes, melting no. pot. Uh, yeah. demographic, have... sexual okay. orientation. No, no, okay, but in the group, at the top, it says the name of the group. Uh, what is it? Mm, no. Arriba, arriba del, eh, aparece el nombre del grupo. No. I don't see it. Yes. Are you on Delta? You're, like? you're on the computer, right? Yes. I'm the computer. Yeah. I'm the computer. Uh, yes. In, in la pantalla, at the mm -hmm. top, it says Zoom meeting. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? Les puedo decir Maybe. el nombre, pero... Ah, uh, yes, yes. I, Do you I see, see it? it? Okay. I so at the top, it. it's, it's, it's... Yeah, exactly. It's I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm showing you this because in the, oh, in the okay. future, I'm going to do the same okay. thing. Okay. So I need you to, to be able to identify it. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Melting Pot is, melting pot is the... Yeah. Uh, the topic to to us is demographic teacher. Yes, that is correct. Okay, we are looking for that in, in the internet. 
Perfect. Okay. Good. I'm going to go to the other groups to make sure that they know which four, which ones they have. Okay. So yeah, I think it's uh, that is basically. Um, well, we have to 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 express it in an in a in our own words. So I think it's simply like that. Like who you like. Uh, do you do you know what what your do you know what your group is going to be talking about? Yeah. Which yeah. one? Sexual orientation. Perfect. Okay. All right. Just making sure. Good. All right. Continue. So it's basically that. Um... get mixed together. The republic is a melting pot of different. Girls, hello, hello, hello girls. Hello. Uh, hello. Do you know which what your word is? No, no, miss. At at the top of the of of your group, it has the name of your oh, of your group. Disability? Yes. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's the one you're going to be talking about. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I have disability. Let me see. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Disability is a physical or mental condition that makes someone unable to act in a way that is considered usual. For most people, the low bar discrimination against those with disabilities and the regulation is applied to people unable to work because of disabilities. Of disability. I think mm -hmm. this is all right. Mm -hmm. oh. I, I don't know. Well. I understand that disability is when you have something, well, as I read, something physical or mental uh, that you, that impossibility for mm. do something. And, but you have uh, a different skills that you can, uh, um, that you can't, improve or develop for for do whatever that kind of people want i think um for example uh, olympiadas especiales mm -hmm. is with a lot of people with disabilities but they they make an effort and and they do and they practice some sport and they do very well I think special, special capacity. No? Yes. Um, 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 and the Google say disability is the experience of any condition that make it more difficult for a person to do certain activities or have equitable access within a given society. Disability may be cognitive development, development, intellectual, intellectual, mental, physical, or sensory, or a combination of multiple, multiple factors. Es no more a difference. No matter the difference. No matter the difference. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, how do you say so, se, seres sociables? Huh? Uh, how do you say uh, in, in English seres sociables? Seres. Sí, personas sociables. Oh, uh, social people? Social people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And mm -hmm. 
Uh, we are uh, we are uh, searching more information mm -hmm. and uh, melting pot is a, a metaphor. A term. A term, or... a term or metaphor? Metaphor. Metaphor. Yeah. Metaphor. Okay. Metaphor. Uh, it refers to a mix of the the people. Mm -hmm. Like uh, when you put different uh, metals in a pot in a crystal, <laughs> and then you you mix, and you have a homogeneous society, homogeneous uh, people, right? Uh, Homog homogeneous, 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 homogeneous. Ah, homogeneous. Okay, homogenous. thank you. This is a homogenous. new word in my vocabulary. <laughs> okay, homogeneous. Yeah. Yes, and I, 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 I said uh, to Delbert that uh, in a uh, dream, dream world, mm -hmm. dream world. Yeah. It will be uh, a perfect world if if we uh, respect no matter religion, mm -hmm. no matter race, uh, no matter uh, ethnicities. Like a son of John Lennon. Yes. <laughs> Imagine world. <laughs> Imagine all the people. Yeah, but but. Uh, the song is a reality, yeah. It's a it's a real point, and and about this this topic, uh, today I was I was checking and I found this this part, but I I, I didn't time to 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 search uh, uh, the the. the 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 main point about mm -hmm. this topic but it's is really really interesting mm. and and of course uh, it's a it's a uh, in the in a, the real world uh, we need to to create a, a homogeneous mm -hmm. uh, in cultural, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't know, Delbert. What do you, what do you think? I agree with you. I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> what he said. He said. <laughs> <laughs> we are hom hom homogeneous. 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 I'm going to check this word. <laughs> yes. Homogeneous. Homogeneous. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sure. And, and then uh, what we are going to uh, because uh, but we're uh, not <clears throat> no we uh, we already what discuss and okay and, and we need to to be agree right so what we're gonna do a, not today because of the time, but what we're going to do is we're going to um, be um, a, then a changing or uh, the groups around so that we will have in the end, we're going to be having um, a, people from different groups. Okay. So they, they can all, everybody's going to be explaining their vocabulary word. Okay. Okay. Well, the time is over, which I'm so exactly. sorry. Exactly. No, exactly. So we're, no, no, it's fine. So we're going to not, like I said, not today because of the time, but it's going to be tomorrow, right? So okay. then we're going to be switching around so that everybody has an opportunity to explain their okay. the word that they have. They have... Um, investigated about the, okay. the, share the, the information mm -hmm. okay uh, very good teacher mm -hmm. okay 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 so we're going to be bringing everybody back so i'll see you okay. guys in a moment 
Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Delbert. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Mara. You're welcome. <clears throat>
well yeah with the internet because the the there was a power outage so i think mm. that's why she's not she's not connected so we'll do a switch so we she will be tomorrow and you can be today okay, okay. all right um so jennifer do you ha have you been working in the platform yes yeah okay uh, do you have any problems or have you have you had any problems with the internet is there on mm, the platform yeah. no 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 i'm just finished there are one two three four five i've just finished two, two of yeah. them is the 1.1 1 .1 and the 1.5 mm -hmm. i already and the 1.7 I already finished. I don't see. You finished it. Oh. Yeah. Hey, good um, for you. Yeah, and I'm missing the one point three. That is, I don't understand that, but I need to. Yeah, th there are the definitions. I need to 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 check carefully and and try to complete. Okay. Uh, okay. Tomorrow. Have you had any problems with any exercises? No, just the one that I said yesterday that I was the apostrophe, right? Mm -hmm. But it was an space, not the apostrophe itself. Okay, okay. So so you solved that problem. Yeah. Okay. Then I, 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 I was able to complete the Okay. The, the, Okay, good, good, good. All right. Um, and how are you finding the class there? Any problems with the the information that we have seen so far? No, 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 no. I don't have a problem with okay. information. Okay, very good. Um and anything that I can help you with, Jennifer? Any anything in specific that I can help you with so that I can um any way that I can um that I can support you. Mm, I think not for now. Maybe uh the the, the um through the to the course, maybe mm -hmm. uh, and uh um what the module mm -hmm. uh, but not for now. Okay, okay. Um what do you normally do, Jennifer, when to be able to practice English? Well, um, I write in English and don't speak in English. Mm -hmm. uh, even my even I work for an American company, and mm -hmm. my boss and uh, they are uh, Americans, mm -hmm. and uh, our customers are around the world. Mm -hmm. And but uh, I don't have uh I don't have communication directly communication with them. But uh, or over um over email, yes, and then I have uh, to write a lot in English. And that is the the main part, but not um uh, I don't talk, well, I don't speak in English. Mm. Just when we have meetings, uh, mm. when I have meetings, and uh, I I usually have um three meetings in a week. Mm -hmm. and and that's uh, uh, all the is the is the time to to if i have to to participate in the meeting and give my opinion and give up my ideas or or solve a problem and that is the is the moment that i can uh, speak in english mm -hmm. okay. most of the time is writing mm -hmm. i see okay um do you so so at, at in your workplace there's nobody else that you can you can practice with it's very difficult because uh, -huh. uh we are, are busy all day long and and other co co-workers have uh, well, different responsibilities and they have meetings uh, all the day and then it's a very kind of difficult to to practice uh, mm -hmm. the speaking but um I understand the most of the time, ninety percent, mm -hmm. that they are speaking. That they, that, yeah, that they, that they, and um. Do you have yeah. um lunchtime at the same time 
or do you have lunch different lunch schedules? Yes, yes, because when I have lunch, they are in a meeting, or when I am, uh, um, in my uh, working day, they it's it's kind of difficult to talk with them, mm -hmm. and and try to practice with them. The only time to, to to talk with them is in in, in the, when we are in the meeting, but it's a uh, so practice I need mm -hmm. to speak in the in, in the meeting um but uh, yeah practice is, is kind of difficult I have many people that speak in English but when we are um um chilling I don't know it's not the the, the, the right word and uh, when we are um sharing the, uh, the time off and we don't ah. speak in English we don't speak in English we don't speak okay. in Spanish yeah then okay. that is a, then it's a little bit difficult to yeah. to practice with someone else. Yeah, I think that's the most difficult part about um, a, getting a group of people to um, to start speaking in English, right? Like, it's because you know everybody is so comfortable in Spanish, so you just automatically start speaking Spanish. But yes. um, but I find that if you start speaking to someone in English automat and they know English automatically they're going to start speaking to you in English too like their brain is going to start saying okay I have to answer in English so the best thing to do is you start so if they're not speaking English they're speaking Spanish you start speaking to them in English that's why that I expect uh, I don't have I travel not regularly, but and not often is uh, rarely in mm -hmm. the United States. But it's, um, <clears throat> for example, if you go to California, it's mm -hmm. uh, Hispanic. There are many Hispanic people there. And there, it's if true. you don't have the, act, the, the right accent, they recognize or identify that you are, are um, Hispanic. And they turn speak speak Spanish, and uh, you can so, you, you can practice you cannot practice there. That is it. Just <laughs> you speak and you are slow, and they identify that you don't that you are that you are not native speaking English. And they turn into Spanish. But uh, you, and so what you do is then you answer you continue answering them in English. Continue. Insist. That's the best thing. Insist. Like, if they speak to you in Spanish, good. Okay, fine. They speak to you in Spanish, but you speak to them in English. So Yeah, that is that is different when you talk with uh, Black people, that they speak too fast, <laughs> and it's kind of difficult to understand because they are speak different because they have dialectos, I know, is, is it? Dialect. In dialect yeah they speak different dialects and contract the words or contracts the sentence and then that is kind of difficult to understand even if you try hard yeah i get it do you have family that speaks english yes yeah. yes but we speak spanish when we talk see but that again what i i, I insist on what i'm saying talk to them in English even if they speak to you in Spanish and that will automatically tell them that you want to practice English and mm -hmm. they are going to feel obligated to always answer to you in English so but if you if you just go along if you continue speaking Spanish they're never going to speak English to you yeah so yeah. so always insist you know they they say something in spanish say something to them answer in english and sooner or later they're going to catch on and your conversation is going to always be in english okay yeah Got but, it. but you know insist insist right don't don't even tell them i want to practice english don't don't even tell them that just answer in english if they okay. know english just answer and be constant be constant and you will see it's a psychological thing if if somebody yeah. if somebody speaks to you in it it's like 
it, it, this it's like some when when somebody is angry mm -hmm. and and they start talking really fat loud and screaming blah, blah blah if somebody talks to them softly automatically they start to lower their a tone of voice Angriness. yeah and so they're not talking like this instead they start calming down because the other per they start mimicking the other person even if they don't realize that they're doing it they mm -hmm. start doing it the same thing so they're they're going to do the same thing with you if you speak to them in, in english automatically they're going to switch and they're going to start talking to you in english so okay. tr try it try it. It. it yeah right okay yeah, so yeah thank you you're welcome all right well i'm gonna let you um now rest because it's it's um it's late already so um, yeah what time is for you there it's 7 17 7 17 mm -hmm, in the morning mm -hmm. so yeah. right right now it's just it's starting to well actually i think today you wake up early to give us the, the class yeah i wake up early <laughs> yeah i yeah. wake up quite early but yeah, it's okay it's not bad yeah it's not it's not it's the class is at five in the morning for me which is not so mm -hmm. bad it would be different if it was like, like a three in the morning but it's not it's only mm -hmm. it's yes. fine so it's it's okay it's okay yeah and then you, you finish the class and prepare for working um yeah yeah pretty much yeah so yeah it's 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 a it's a eventful day <laughs> yeah okay jennifer thank you for um being flexible also with the schedule so we could do the switch yeah so no, no problem. all right well take care then jennifer and um, have yourself a good evening yeah and then have a good day thank you <laughs> see you tomorrow see you tomorrow okay, bye bye, -bye.